day five. Here we have Pedro. How are you? Good, and you? Fine. How is the weather today? Uh, I think it's the closest to low. Yeah. And windy? Mm. No, windy it's okay. Not, Not so bad. Okay. It's okay. We're going to have a good fly. Thank you. What is today's task fly? Today's task. 97k. This way. Crosswind. So maybe should be good. What do you think? What the tactic for today? Mm. Tell me your tactic. My tactics. I don't know. Tactics. Make go. Well, with your moist is easy. No? With the RS? But with this shitty glider you make it. I don't think so. No? It's difficult? No. It's a bit difficult. This could be the day that we make the break from Arco, huh? No, no. Today I'm going to eat Molly's cookies. The cookies for the winner. You know what I mean? You've already had one cookie and I have yeah. not had one for many times, so I'm... We just have four cookies. Oeste, so, uh, I, I am going to eat the cookie tonight. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Con certeza. Con certeza. Okay, welcome to day five. We're here on the takeoff. It's uh, already five minutes past the first start gate. There's only two people that have launched. There's a third one that's just about to go now. It looks pretty, uh, pretty light conditions out there. We have a 92 kilometre um, downwind cross cross downwind pass. Should be pretty entertaining. You can see somebody's about to take off there behind me. And uh, next in line now. So okay, it's been a bit of a rough start today. I uh, we got an 87k entry with a bit of a crosswind, so. I tried to cross the lake here and uh, got really low on these hills. Not much landing, you can see take off back up there. I'm just climbing back out from about 500 feet, maybe lower. I was level with the plateau here. I'm just climbing through 1,000 meters now. Um, I've got a broken zipper harness and uh, it's not going to be an easy day for Johnny, but uh, I've survived the first climb. I thought I was going to land down here in the middle of nowhere uh, and amongst the trees but uh, now I'm climbing out and uh, I'm two k's from the edge of the start cylinder and I'm going to concentrate on this thermal so I can get up and get going. Well, uh, not a good day for Johnny. Just landed 50, 55 kilometres short of the goal. It's not even halfway. The uh, ground's quite high up here, it's uh, nearly a thousand metres and the highest I've uh, gotten today was 1500 metres. So, it means we've been playing between about 500 and 1500 feet for the last 45 kilometres. And uh, it's a little bit windy. Uh, somehow I managed to break my harness zipper. So, I've uh, been flying stuck and uh, couldn't get my feet out on landing, had a bit of a crash landing. Uh, Lighter seems okay at this point. Uh, the guys have all just started half an hour later than me. Um, I think they're going to be in one big gaggle, so let's see how they go. Probably be a little bit easier with uh, more pilots, but it's uh, not an easy day, that's for sure. And uh, I think we're going to have a lot of pilots on the ground. Uh, well, I'm on the ground anyway, so let's see. All the best, boys. Okay, well it's been uh, over 30 minutes now since uh, I've landed and uh, I just spoke with Bly, they're uh, still about 10 k's behind me and downwind of the course line, I'm about 4 k's upwind, um, so I guess I was going pretty good until I landed. It uh, sounds like they're struggling as well, um, they're going to be uh, Slightly more over here on the mountains. I came, uh, came you can see the takeoff maybe in the background. Came sort of straight through the, the higher plains here and struggled pretty hard uh, getting down as low as 300 feet on uh, some glides. And uh, the wind is you know, anywhere between 10 to 15 knots. It's just blowing the thermos apart. So. Who knows what these guys will do, they'll probably stick with each other as a gaggle and um, 
clouds are looking better uh, towards Gull now. There's a few clouds and it's, it's warming up a bit more. So hopefully these guys will be able to stay in the air and uh, finish the course off. As long as they go slow and they don't try and fly too fast, unlike some. Okay, well it's been a little over 40 minutes and the first flexi's just gone past. Um, looks like Bly Senior. And uh, out here in the distance on top of these mountains I've just spotted the whole gaggle. They uh, look like they've got to uh, probably 2,500 metres, which is uh, 1,000 metres higher than I, I saw all day. Um, so maybe I went the wrong way slightly. But uh, yeah, it looks like uh, there should be at least a handful of gold. Um, these guys are quite high now and they've only got 50 k's to go. So I'm sure there will be at least uh, half a dozen or more in, in the gold today. Well, I found myself a nice little uh, hideout here. Um, the boys are picking up uh, Marcus. He's landed somewhere close to Alberto, which is only a few kilometres from the takeoff. Uh, I guess that means they're still at least an hour or so away. Um, starting to warm up finally today, so uh, I've located myself in this drainage pipe. Um, kind of thought this was a road from the air, so uh, turns out there's another little road just uh, not far away from me, but uh, I'm just going to wait here for a little while until uh, until the boys get closer to me on the radio, and uh, there's not much shade around in this place, so this is uh, this looks like a beautiful spot for uh, siesta to me. <laughs> Well, you might have noticed that this is where I was just having my siesta and uh, I started to hear some water and and uh, turned around and uh, looked upstream and I guess they've let some water out of somewhere. I uh, managed to just get out in time. <laughs> uh, there goes my little siesta spot. Um, it's quite lucky I had all the instruments and everything down there and uh, managed to pick everything up just before I uh, got absolutely saturated.